It's hard not to get enthusiastic about Canada. The place is beautiful and the people are famous for their niceness. You have a bowl of maple syrup for breakfast, ski to work and say sorry to everyone along the way. Just be careful not to bump into any bears. We'd like to tell you all the most important things about life in the Great White North, from ice hockey to bagged milk. So let's get started. Canada is huge. Canada's great for people who like it because there's absolutely loads of it. The country is the second largest in the world, behind Russia, measuring nearly 10 million square kilometers. If that doesn't mean anything to you, think of this. You could fit the United Kingdom into Canada over 40 times. It would take you over four years to walk its coastline if you ever felt like doing that. The city of St. John's in Newfoundland is actually closer to London than it is to Vancouver. Wood Buffalo National Park is bigger than the Netherlands. To make everything a bit more manageable, Canada is divided into 13 parts, 10 provinces and 3 territories. So, just take one piece at a time. The cities are world class. Urban life in Canada is the bee's knees. In The Economist's 2017 ranking of the world's most livable cities, no less than three Canadian cities placed in the top 10. They were Vancouver, Toronto and Calgary. The five factors were healthcare, education, environment, infrastructure and stability. That's right, these cities are practically begging to be lived in. When it comes to the important stuff, the Canucks just circa knocked the ball right out of the park. It's very multicultural. People just love moving to Canada, and Canada just loves having them over. More than 20% of Canadians were born in another country, and this is expected to reach nearly 50% by 2031. That's a crazy rate of immigration, but there's more than enough space to go around. Canada has two official languages. One official language was not enough for the Canadians, so English and French have equal status over there. If you think that sounds difficult, imagine being in Singapore or India. You don't really notice the Frenchness of the country unless you're in the eastern province of Quebec, where people are trying very hard to keep things as French as possible. There are laws enforced by the OQLF, basically the language police, to make sure everyone uses enough French. If a shop doesn't put French on its signs and greet its customers in French, it's probably in danger. Canada has got some of the beautiful landscapes. Yes, the cities are good, but the spaces between the cities are even better. 90% of Canadians live within 100 miles of the American border, which means there's a serious amount of room for exploring in the north. If you want to get away from other humans for a while, or indeed forever, then the opportunity's there. Aside from boiling deserts and tropical rainforests, Canada pretty much has every landscape going. There's the rugged coastline of Pacific Rim, the magical meadows in the sky, and the granite mountains of Gros Morne, to name just a few. The Alberta Badlands are particularly good if you want to feel like a cowboy in an old western film. It's freezing cold, there's no place for words like chilly and nippy in Canada. When we say it gets cold, we mean really bloody cold. Apart from the country's west coast in British Columbia, nowhere else in Canada does the average temperature exceed zero in winter time. Vast parts of the country can dip as low as minus 30 degrees Celsius or minus 40 degrees Celsius, which makes going outside fairly unenjoyable. Chuck in the severe wind chill and the great outdoors are a no-go. The coldest temperature ever recorded in North America was in Yukon, Canada in 1947 at minus 63 degrees Celsius, which is literally the same as the surface temperature of Mars. Suddenly those lakes don't seem very appealing. Everyone loves maple syrup. Canadians are mad for maple syrup. That sweet, sugary goo can be found in nearly every kitchen across the country. The stuff practically flows through their veins. Maple trees are all over Canada and they're beautiful, turning a bright red color in the autumn. Back in the day, natives in Quebec showed the French how to collect the sap from maple trees, and then the French boiled it to create the syrup. It was a happy collaboration that Canada is very proud of. The boiling process increases the sugar content in the sap from around 2 to 8% to a massive 70%, which is absolutely disastrous for your teeth. Today Canada produces 71% of the world's maple syrup, and the US is their biggest customer. Beware of the bears, Canadian bears. They're a bit less fun and fluffy than the beavers and a bit more big and dangerous. If a bear wants to kill you, it can and it will. There are three kinds of bears to worry about, from least to most scary. Black bears, grizzly bears and polar bears. There are about 17,000 polar bears in Canada, which is about 70% of the entire global population. Ice cold, these ones need no invitation to attack you. 
Residents of Churchill, Manitoba, actually leave their car doors unlocked in case someone needs shelter. Luckily polar bears still haven't worked out how to open a car door. So I hope you guys enjoyed this short video. If you did make sure to leave a like, comment and also subscribe to the channel.